Welcome to Life Hacker's Tip Tester. I'm Madeline. I'm Andy. And today we're going to be cooking with a coffee maker. For our first tip, we're going to try to cook hot dogs in a coffee maker. And I'm not sure who this is for. Idiots. But if you're in a desperate situation and you need to cook food. Or you're an idiot. So I'm going to put some hot dogs in my coffee pot, first of all. Two dogs, one cup. Then I'm going to fill the coffee maker like you're making a full pot of coffee. Let me get those dogs. All right, they're all you. Gonna set that to run for 30 minutes and we'll see how they turn out. Now we're going to check on our hot dogs to see how well they cooked. Very nervous. Which, I mean, hot dogs are already cooked, so we're really just warming them. All right, so that's just like a bloated, orangish Right. <laughs> I mean, it looks like we boiled it, basically. Seems fine, I guess. So who's going to try it? Say we rock, paper, scissors for it. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Go for it, Maddie. <laughs> okay, Me there's neither. some nice uh, Get golden some flavor. Uh, jus. It's a hot dog, right? Yeah, it tastes fine. I was being a baby. Now I'll do it. <laughs> very brave of you. <laughs> Basically it worked because you're putting hot dogs in hot water for a while. Yeah, I mean all you have to do is heat it through, which again I feel like you could do um, quicker and kind of in a way that is less <laughs> repulsive using just like a pot of boiling water or a microwave. But in dire situations, if you need to cook your hot dog in a coffee pot, it's possible. Next we're going to try to use a coffee maker to steam broccoli. And I'm a little skeptical because Vegetables take time to steam, and this seems right. kind of quick. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting the broccoli florets, wee oui, wee, oui. fancy, <laughs> into uh, where you would put the coffee or the coffee filter. Then we're just gonna drop that puppy back in there. So we're just gonna fill it all the way up to the 12 cup mark. Plus you'll get a hot coffee pot full of broccoli water. <laughs> Which sounds very healthy. Gwyneth Paltrow drinks one every day. And we're just gonna run it through once and see how the broccoli turns out. Ooh. Well, it's broccoli and it's steamy, that's for sure. So that is really like a nice cooked broccoli color. Yeah. It's pretty hot, but I feel like we can... You can go for it. It looks and it smells like steamed broccoli so far. It's a little al dente, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Like I would call that a success. So for our next test, we're gonna try frying an egg on a coffee maker. Now you do this practically the exact same way you would use it on a stove, only with more unnecessary steps and accoutrement. Yeah, you need a little frying pan that'll fit on top of the uh, heating element of the coffee maker. So we've been preheating the pan just because that's what you would want to do with a regular egg. Um, so very carefully, I'm going to take the handle here. We're just going to spray it with some olive oil, the finest that Italy has to offer. Now what I'm more worried about is just getting the egg onto that pan without burning myself. <laughs> All right, so that's in there. I mean, it's kind of like getting, it's, it's whitening already. It is whitening. I'm a little concerned that the coffee pot's not actually hot enough to cook the egg. And I believe it can do anything it sets its mind to. So while the egg started out pretty promising, um, it's been on there for about 15 minutes and it just doesn't seem hot enough to get all the way through the egg. Yeah, the bottom is cooked a bit, but it's still runny uh, liquidy on the top. Yeah, so maybe if we could flip it, it maybe would have worked, um, but it's just kind of this too small of a space. If you look at it from that angle, it looks great. <laughs> it almost worked. You could trick someone into eating that egg. Now we're going to try to cook ramen in a coffee pot. Ramen to that. First of all, we're going to put our ramen in our coffee pots, as one does. I'm going to put the flavor packet just directly with the ramen chicken flavor. You can use any flavor you'd like. Ooh, my favorite. Uh, I believe we need about two cups of water. I think you are way past. You're now at four. <laughs> Good enough for me. Now we're just going to let it run. Let's see how our ramen is doing. These noodles look very soft. It's been sitting for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Maybe a little too soft, but that's yeah. the risk with store-bought oh. ramen. It's cooked. It's ramen. Yeah. All right, and then pour some broth right. over there. Yum. All right, bottoms up. Mm -hmm. That ramen is very soft. <laughs> it's almost just like eating like a, 
a ramen pudding. We could have just cooked it less. And also that, that like extra cup of water, you really fucked up. I like my soggy ramen. Hey, I mean, I wouldn't kick this bowl of ramen out of, out of the kitchen, honestly. So how do we feel about these coffee hacks? I am not won over by any of them, uh, yeah. but the final result of this beautiful bowl of ramen featuring hot dogs, broccoli, slightly raw egg, Essentially, they all worked because you can cook a lot of things with hot water. Yes, I, I think wouldn't... it's more of a hot water hack, if anything. Yeah, and it took a lot of time. Each item was like boiling a, a new fresh pot of coffee. Sure, which I think I would just prefer coffee to all of these things. Yeah, without the hot dog.